Are you looking for a charger that's not bulky though carries so much power for your laptop, tablets, phones, or any devices? Don't worry, this device can do it all just for you. But the question is, how long will it take to fully charge my Asus VivoBook Pro 14 OLED? Well, we'll find out in this video. Hey guys, James here, your tech buddy, and this is Tech Amino. In this video, we will have a charging test for my Asus VivoBook Pro 14 OLED while using this Ugreen GAN X 100W charger and give you my honest thoughts about it. But before we go any further, this video is not sponsored by Ugreen or any other companies. All of the things I'll say are mine only and they don't have any additional inputs nor gave them advanced copies. If you're interested in purchasing all of the products I will mention and use here, I will have links for both international and Philippine audiences that I will put in the video description below. Let's start the video with a very quick unboxing of the Ugreen adapter. Here's the retail packaging of the 100W CAN charger. Let's lift up the pull tab tape and once open, we can see the charger and its paperwork. Nothing else is included so you need to buy a compatible cable here. You can also sell cables that can harness this charger's power but for this charging desk, we will use a 2 meter USB-C to C cable from a company called Sager. Sager? A quick inspection of the charger, the one that I have here is a US plug that can be folded and be a space saving carry on your bag when traveling though it's also available in EU and UK plugs too if you need those. The overall feel of this gunmetal gray charger is smooth and feels sturdy enough with a bit of heft to it. While on the cable, it has a high density flexible braided cable so it's more durable and resistant to abrasion and pulling. But the coolest part here is the cable has built-in LCD display for charging and power status so you know how much power that cable and charger is pushing into your devices which is very helpful later on. All right. Now we're done with the hands-on, let's charge the Asus VivoBook Pro 14 OLED with the cable and the Ugreen 101 charger. We'll put up the remaining battery left on the screen now and we will begin charging the laptop. While we're waiting to wait for charge, let's take a look at the charger. So, maybe we were wondering, what's a GAN charging? To explain to you simply, Gallium Nitride or GAN for short is a new charging technology that you can charge our devices like laptops, tablets, and even smartphones up to three times more efficiently than the traditional silicon-based chargers. However, if you thought that we're talking 100 watts of power means bulky chargers, right? Well, actually, the answer is no. GAN chargers may be powerful enough, but for the size and weight to it, it's much smaller and more portable than traditional ones and more resistant to high temperatures. For instance, this is the Realme 65 Watt Super Dart Charger and this is the Ugreen GAN Charger. The GAN Charger is a little bit hefty than the Realme ones but it has more charging power and ports than the latter. We're now at the 30 minute mark and it's at 44%. Pretty impressive. We will go back to the laptop later on the one hour mark. While it's charging, I need to give a shout out to ASUS on their rather confusing and quite misleading information. Let me explain. While on the promotional product page for the ASUS VivoBook Pro 14 OLED K3400, they said that the USB-C Thunderbolt 4 port can be used with the quote-unquote wide range of standard 5 to 20 volt USB-C chargers. So you can enjoy fast charging to quote-unquote any power delivery certified chargers included up to the ASUS 120W fast charger adapter. While they said the voltage for the USB power delivery adapters, what's confusing is when I charge my laptop here, the maximum power output that the adapter and cable, as you shown here, give to the laptop is only 69 watts. Yes, 69. Let's be professional here, okay? Which only means that whatever power wattage your charger be, uh, maybe 75, 90, or even 100 watts in this matter, it will charge at the maximum power of 65 watts. So hold on, hold on. If we only took 65 watts of power, can I just buy a 65 watt adapter? And how can I achieve that 120 watt charging speed? But before we talk about that, if you enjoy watching this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you get you notified when a brand new video will come out. And follow us on our social media accounts like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and on TikTok at TechMNO for more content and big giveaways that we have right now that you can check in the card right here. We're now at the one hour mark and it's at 69%. Wow, it's so much faster than the standard adapter of the Asus VivoBook Pro 14 OLED out of the box. A mind-blowing result. Alright, we're approaching the 19-minute mark later. Let's continue on the thing we left off. To answer your question, yes, you can buy a 65-watt charger if you want. 
To be honest with you, I have bought a 65 watt Xiaomi GAN charger too at first. But when I have and use it on my laptop, it showed an exclamation point on the battery icon and had a warning that the wattage of the power source was not enough and could lead to decreased performance and charging efficiency. So I buy this 100 watt charger instead, hoping it will charge more faster. But it says that it can carry up to 120 watt charger, right? Yes, it can charge faster with that adapter, but the consequence is you are bringing a more bulky brick as shown here in this photo. So ASUS, if you're watching this right now, please try to be precise on your promotional product information, okay? To avoid these confusions in the near future. We're now in the 90 minute mark, it is at 89%. We can now see where the charging starts to slow down, but still faster though than the default charger. Pretty awesome. We are moving forward where the charge test will go through, but let's talk about the ports of the Ugreen 100 Watt GAN charger. This brick has three USB Type-C ports and one USB-A ports. The first and second Type-C ports here can power up to 100 watts with the support with power delivery 2 and 3 and Qualcomm Quick Charge 4 Plus technology. The third one here, the Type-C port has a max power up to 22.5 watts with Qualcomm's Quick Charge 3 and Huawei's Fast Charge and Super Charge technology. And finally, the USB-A port can also carry up to 22.0 watts of support for AFC, Samsung's tech, and Apple's 2.1 amp charging alongside QC2, QC3, and Huawei's charging tech mentioned a while ago. However, I need to address and point out to you that when you charge four devices at the same time, the 100 watt power will be divided into all four ports as you can see in this graphic illustration for your reference. So if you charge a laptop that can carry 100 watts, you can only use the one port only to maximize the 100 watt power. In my case with my Asus laptop, I can charge it while I can charge my phone or iPad at the same time at its maximum power. All right, in our two hour mark, we have reached 96% and we really saw the float stage of the battery leading to the trickle stage. And finally, after two hours and 27 minutes, we have reached 100% battery on our Asus VivoBook Pro 14 OLED as shown here in the photo. Well, while it's at least 15% faster than the included 65 watt charger for the laptop, you may say that it's not a big difference from the default one. But when we look at the first hour of charging between the power delivery charging and the regular charging, the GAN charger pushes faster to hit the 70 to 80% mark than the regular adapter. That means if you need to top up your laptop as quickly as possible, then the GAN charger is the best charger to bring if you're on the go. If you don't want to bring a lot of adapters in your bag and want an all-in-one solution to your charging needs, then the Ugreen 100W GAN charger is an absolute recommendation to you with its powerful charging capacity, with its small and portable size that's perfect to travel or to bring to work. The Ugreen 100W GAN charger is priced at $80, but you can always see this on sale for as low as $37, US dollars, especially this coming September 9 sale if you live in Asia. So check my affiliate links for the best prices. And for more videos like this, you can check out my playlist right here. Or if you want to watch my review for the Asus VivoBook Pro 14 OLED, click right here. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and to my second channel. Again, I'm your tech buddy James, and we'll catch you guys on the next one.